So now I'm ready to uh, set the Z height. I just use the um, metal plate here as a contact to the plate. It's a little difficult to get the connector on the plate here and then the other one on the bit. And I have the bit um, like 7 millimeters above the uh, surface. And then I will issue the uh, probing command. Okay, now we have the Z height. Uh, set zero, and in the computer I will then set Z to zero. So uh, now um, that is in place, and I'm then ready to load the uh, the program. What I have here is a three millimeter bit. Uh, it cannot get uh, further up into the collet, uh, so the distance inside this one must be around here. So unfortunately that, because I'm a little concerned with this uh, long piece protruding here, but let's see how it works. So before we start running, it's just a quick uh, look on the computer. Here you have the visualizer, and you can see the uh, different holes, of the six, the four holes here, four holes here, the cross, the USB, the power, and the different outlets, and the e-stop. And on this side here, you can see the work position is all at zero. So the bit is touching the plate at point zero. I guess that was not so good. Uh, there was a lot of chatter. Uh, the bit was basically dancing in the uh, uh, at the aluminium here in the groove. So I, I don't know if uh, it's because we can't move the bit up into the uh, collet or it's simply because there's a little much, too much uh, slack. I don't feel any slack in the in the uh, in the bearings here, uh, but. I guess all in all, uh, this didn't work out. I think I will uh, try to mount uh, my um, Cress spindle instead uh, and then see if I can uh, get that to work better. I, uh, uh, this at least did not work. 